We are not only citizens of Slovenia, we are also European citizens. But what does it mean for us? Do you know that we celebrate the Europe Day on the 9th of May? This is the day that in 1945 the World War II ended in Europe and it was at the time known as Victory Day. Later, more important events happened on this date to name it Europe Day. Have you ever asked yourself, what is the point of the European Union? After the World War II ended, Europe was destroyed. This was a second great war fought in the same countries in less than 30 years' time. And Europeans had enough fighting. All Europeans wished for was a peace. But how could peace be achieved? By working together rather than against each other. And this was how the story of the European Union started. On the 9th of May, 1950, French Foreign Minister Robert Schuman presented a plan for deeper cooperation that we today call the Schuman Declaration. His idea was to unite the countries of Europe, especially France and Germany, by integrating their coal and steel industries. This way, the countries will have the same resources and will not attack each other. Six countries followed the Schuman plan and signed a treaty to merge their steel and coal production and work on cooperation. The European Coal and Steel Community, ECSC, came into being in 1952. Building on the success, the cooperating countries now wanted to expand their cooperation onto other sectors. The European Economic Community, EEC, was thus created in 1957, as well as Eurotom. In 1958, it was the birth of the European Parliament. The European Community represented unity and prosperity for its members. More countries wanted to join and the European communities grew. In the late 80s, the countries behind the Iron Curtain also wanted to become democratic and independent. Finally, in 1992, the Maastricht Treaty was signed, creating the European Union as we know today. It was officially established in 1993. In 2004, the biggest expansion of the EU took place, with 10 new countries joining, including Slovenia. Why is the EU so important, especially to the small countries? European Union offers to its citizens the four freedoms. Free movement of goods, free movement of capital, freedom to establish and provide services, and free movement of people. Also, offers common market, stronger economy, more competitive in the global market. EU values, democracy, peace, protection of human rights, solidarity, equality. It provides faster development of underdeveloped countries and regions, more funds, environment protection, sustainability, technological development and eradication of poverty. The EU has had such a strong impact on the European space. It contributed to the preservation of peace, the advancement of democracy and the protection of human rights. What would Robert Schuman think of that? That his idea for cooperation has worked so well and has since been developed so much? In this context, it is important to remember why the EU was created and the values it represents. Peace and prosperity can only be achieved through solidarity and cooperation.